I'm going to show you how to work with the icons element using Thrive Architect. Uh, very easy, very intuitive, and I'll walk you through the options right now. Uh, you can see in the middle of the page there are already four icons. One, two, three, four that I've already placed there. You can, to edit these or change them, you can click on them. And right here in the icon options page, you can swap out which ones you want. So, so that one I had a pencil in there. And let's say instead of that pencil, I wanted to go with this one. Select and the pencil has switched. But so you can get a better look at it, I'm going to put in a new icon. And to do that, you click on the Add Element button on the top right and look for the rocket ship. When you find that uh, icon element, you click on it, drag it to wherever you want it. So let's say we want it right here below those columns. And as soon as you do, the icon uh, library will pop up and you can either scroll through and find one that you like or more than likely you're going to search for it in the icon box again which right here let's say I wanted to put in a an arrow and let's say I wanted this down arrow right here and it's in there now up here at the top you can change the scale and size of it right there put to whatever size you want so let's want one about so about that size, a nice big one. Let's change the color to match this red above. Click apply and it's in there. Um, now another thing I want to show you, you can do, this is not in the main options, this would be in the layout and position. And here you can change the, uh, the position of it. So let's say you wanted to make it, oh, we got the icon itself. You make it a little closer to those right at the top. So let's see, want to keep it at 50 right there. Now what you can do in here that I like doing is using this position of it. Now that was the layout, this is the position. You can click on relative and under vertical, I'm able to drop that down right here where now it is right in between those two different backgrounds and adds a nice transition to it. This is, uh, when you're doing longer sales pages, uh, this is a nice uh, feature you can, you can add into it to break different page sections up and keep the flow through your, uh, through your sales page. Uh, you can change the, the backgrounds, you can add borders and corners. The only things with adding, actually the borders and corners and background is based on this full square. So when we're using circle icons or differently shaped ones, like really every one of these, above here it tends to look a little a little odd so I don't generally do it uh, one thing you might want to do sometimes though is add in uh, animation or an action uh, you can add a a link to it so let's say up here like in this area if I want to make this uh, pencil right here link to a, a page with more co with more uh, a copy about the upgraded content benefits of being a uh, uh, creating a free membership uh, you can do that. You can also have it open up a pop-up where if you want to do that instead. So instead of linking to a different page, you can have it click there and open up a pop-up a pop-up pop window in here with more information on it. Uh, you can also add in animations where if you want to add something like that just to add a little more pizzazz to it, you, you can. Um, let's see, cancel that. And that is about it for icons. So there's not a, not a whole lot to it. They're more uh, small pieces of decoration. Usually use them just like this. The only other way I do use them is this other way I showed you to uh, in between two different sections when I'm doing like a longer, uh, longer sales page. Uh, but that is it for working with icons using Thrive Architect.